Before we get started with this section on EC2, I want to make sure we control billing just in case something goes wrong. So if you go onto the top right corner and type go to my billing dashboard, you will end up on the billing dashboard, but you may get a you need permissions. And this is because you are using an IAM user and currently that IAM user does not have access to your billing and cost management dashboard. So to fix this, we have to log in using the root accounts and enable the setting. To fix this error, I connected using my root account on the right hand side. And I'm going to click on my root account and then click on my account. Within it, I get uh, access to this page. And if I do control F, and look for IAM user and role access to billing information, which was by scrolling down in the bottom, I can edit this section and activate IAM access for my billing dashboard. So now my billing dashboard is activated. So if I refresh here on the left hand side, then I can see that my billing dashboard is indeed activated. So this is perfect. Now in my billing dashboard, I'm going to be able to view what's going on. So if I scroll down, I have spent nothing on this course so far. This is great and expected. And if you go to budgets, we are able to create a budget for this course. So let me click on budgets and see what it says. Well, here we can create a budget and it will alert us if we start spending some money. So I'm going to create a budget and it's going to be a cost budget to make sure we track our cost. I'm going to say, don't go over $10. This is going to be the name of my budget. It's going to be a monthly budget recurring, and then it's for a sixth amount, okay. And I want to say here is $10. So this is how much I'm willing to spend on my course at most. Then I'm going to scroll down. This looks fine. I'm going to click on configure alerts, and I want to receive an alert on actual cost. So for example, I want to say whenever I reach 80% of my budgeted amount, then please send me an email, and I would add my email in here. And also you can add a new alert. So you're saying, hey, also on forecasted cost based on 80% of budgeted amount, then please enter your email here as well to make sure that it does send you an email automatically whenever something goes wrong. Okay, so my budget is now confirmed. So I've defined the cost, the budget details, the alarms that I wanted and so on. And so if I get closer to spending $10, I should receive an email and this should give you confidence that we're going to do fine with this course. And if you do follow me, you should spend $0 at the end. Okay, let's click on create. My budget is now created and we can go ahead and do along in this course without sweating. Finally, in case you did go over the budget, then to find out what has been causing some charges, you can click on bills and you would click on the month and in this bill, it would show you exactly the region and the service that did cost you money. So you can go ahead and maybe stop that service and stop accruing usage. So that's it. I hope now that your mind is calm and that we can follow along with this course. I will see you in the next lecture.